a world championship. The gold medal. Welcome into the Stark Arena for the 2023 World Championships. We're live from Belgrade. This is the UWW Roundup Show. I'm Eric Olanowski, your host, joined alongside the 2016 Rio Olympic champion herself from Canada, Erica Weeb. Today's show, we're going to go over the match of the day, the move of the day. We'll review the finals at 61, 70, 86, and we'll close things out at 125 with a couple of heavyweight juggernauts. But before we get to that, Erica, you go from the mat to the mic, and now in front of the camera, are the boots still hung up? Or being in Belgrade, does this give you any fuel to the fire to head back onto the mat and try and win a second Olympic gold? Well, Eric, thanks for asking. To be honest, it's amazing to be here, to see the lights, the action. I love a good finals match, but I'm more excited to have an impact off the mats than I am on. And so it's an honor to be here at the 2023 World Championships and to bring wrestling to you, the fans at home. Well, let's talk about this first. We're here for the Paris Olympic qualification process. This, of course, is the first of those six qualification competitions. Can you talk about how these athletes will qualify for the Paris Olympic Games? Great question, Eric. There's nothing like winning a world championship, but the Olympic Games is what every single athlete on this planet dreams of going to. And so here at the 2023 World Championships, there are five quota spots on the line. And this is a new format compared to years in the past. And so the medalists will all have a quota spot earned for their nation, not necessarily the individual athlete at these World Championships. And in a unique twist, the fifth place athletes will wrestle off for that final Olympic qualification. So at 9 p.m. local time every single night, there will be a wrestle off for that final spot. And we're gonna call that the Olympic playoff spot. You also see it referred to as the true fifth, but we'll call it, as I said, the Olympic qualification spot. But let's get into what everyone's waiting for. The Nike Wrestling Move of the Day presented by Nike Wrestling. For more UWW Nike products, visit uwwstore.com. Erica, walk me through your Nike Wrestling Move of the Day. All right, well, on day one of action here at the World Championships, there were so many exciting moves to choose from, but we have decided to go with the heavyweight 125 match. We have Amir Zare, who is punches ticket to the finals against Daniel Ligeti. And right at the opening of that match, Daniel came on the overhook on his left side and inside leg trips Zare to his back almost putting him in a position and looking for those first couple of points to score it was incredible action and exciting to see Ligeti in that moment yeah perfectly timed on that step and maybe one thing that's more important to note the or more impressive I should say rather than the move of the day was Ligeti's crowd did you see that over to our left had signs the whole crowd the whole nine yards he brought it he did. That 125 from Hungary brought a huge fan base, and it's really exciting to watch him. I was hoping that he would get that win and put himself on the podium at the World Championships, but the day's not over him. He'll be wrestling today in the repressage. Yeah, there is the potential, as you mentioned, for him to go for bronze. But let's move to Tyshawn's match of the day. Erica, give me your match of yesterday. Well, we're not biased because I'm a heavyweight, but once again, we'll be going to 125 and looking at the semifinal. We have one of the legends and juggernauts of the sport, Gino Petrashevili, against a newcomer, Mason Paris. And interestingly, Mason Paris from the USA had one week's notice to show up here at the World Championships, but he came and he brought it. And early on, we see him take down Gino Petrashevili quite easily in a takedown head outside single. Almost turns Gino Petrashevili, which is a really unique position and then interestingly we see Gino get in on that left side sweep single and make a technical mistake on that step out of bounds they went to the challenge and we see Gino losing that challenge because Mason's Paris foot did not step fully out of bounds which put Gino Petrovilli down for nothing early in the match and this is the type of moment that I look forward to because I know that Gino Petrovilli can literally dig himself out of that deficit and dig himself out we saw him he was relentless on those left side singles and continually picking apart Mason Paris as we saw 
again and again and again. And the final score was 8-6, I believe. Yeah, 8-6 was the final score, pushing Geno Petriashvili into the finals as he'll look for his fourth world title. Mason Paris, though, you have to, as a United States wrestling fan, as you see Gable pull out of the tournament, they throw Mason Paris in. Being a young guy, he showed up, he showed big. Also, another guy that we will see with the potential to wrestle in tonight's bronze medal match. But let's move to tonight's gold medal bouts. Well, we'll start at 61 kilos, where the neutral athlete, former world champion Abbas Ghazi Megamedov, will take on Vito Arujao of the United States for gold. Moving to 70 kilos, you'll see a pair of world silver medalists in Amir Babak Mohammed Yazdani Chirati of the Islamic Republic of Iran, wrestling Zane Rutherford from the United States. Moving to 86 kilos, it's the premier match of the night. Two superstars, world and Olympic champions, Hassan Yazdani Chirati from the Islamic Republic of Iran will meet David Taylor of the United States in a rematch of last year's World Finals, also Olympic Finals. These guys have met five times. It's round six. Hassan Yazdani, David Taylor tonight live from Belgrade. And we'll close things out at 125 kilos, as you mentioned, with Amir Hossein Zari of the Islamic Republic of Iran taking on Geno Petriashvili. This is round three. In the semifinals in Tokyo, it was Geno winning. In the 2021 World Finals, it was Zare winning. Tonight, the score is settled. But let's move to what everyone is waiting for. Erica, I'm going to put you on the spot. You're going on paper. Everybody will either criticize you or be with you. Let's start at 61 kilos. Neutral athlete Abbas Gadzi taking on Vito Arujao at 61. Put it down. Who are you going with? Ooh, well, watching Vito yesterday, he was unstoppable. He was composed, and I believe he's going to take the gold medal tonight. Let's move to 70 kilos. Is it Yazdani or are you going Rutherford? Well, you know what? Rutherford found himself in that gold medal match last year, came up short, and I think I'm going to put my money on Yazdani to pull away with the gold medal tonight. One quick mm -hmm. stat. Four matches for Yazdani yesterday. 40-3, to three, his, he outscored his opponents. We'll see if he can bring that same energy tonight. We'll go 86 kilos, the one everyone is waiting for. It's round six. Where are you going? Well, interestingly, watching David Taylor and Hassan Yazdani yesterday, David Taylor, I think, wrestled for a cumulative score, cumulative time of one minute going into his semifinal match, but then looked a little slow in the semifinal, looked tired for the first time on the halftime, and I was honestly shocked. And then Hassan Yazdani was taken down early by a couple of his opponents yesterday in the tournament, but in that semifinal, he looked unstoppable. So again, in the gold medal match, it's a toss up. The favorite is on David Taylor, but I'm going to go with Hassan Yazdani to take away the gold medal tonight. So that'll take it to 4-2. to two. Currently, right now, it sits at 4-1 in favor of David Taylor. Round 6 tonight, live UWW Plus at 1800. But we'll close things out. Heavyweight juggernaut, round 3. It's Zare Petriashvili. Where are we going? Well, this is a classic example of old guard versus new guard. Petriashvili has been in countless Olympic and world finals. Zare has also had his fair share of experiences, but he's still so young in the sport. I love watching Gina Petriashvili. He's so long. He's so dynamic. And I think he's going to take away the gold. That'll do it for the Day 2 Roundup Show live here from Belgrade, Serbia at the 2023 World Championships. She's been Erica Weeb. I've been Erica Wanowski. The start time is 1800. The hashtag is WrestleBelgrade. You can watch it live on UWW+. Until 1800, for Erica and myself, I say so long, wrestling fans.